We're visiting with Nick Ellington out of St. Louis via Meridian Community College. I guess, Nick, the first question is, you come from a metropolitan area like St. Louis, you ended up the first two years playing in Meridian Community College, a little bit in the middle of nowhere down in uh, Mississippi. How was that transition? Did you enjoy that experience? Um, at first, I really didn't, because it was my first time, like, it's been a long time away from home, away from family. You just kind of struggled with that a little bit. But as far as, like, emerging community and everything, like, I definitely loved it. I still follow those guys to the, um, to this day. Just, like, it was so welcoming there, the people, everybody. <laughs> there was nothing really came to not like about Meridian. Yeah. Then choosing Eastern Illinois, what was in your uh, decision process to come here? Um, one of the things that really stood out to me was when I first took my visit and me and Coach Simmons had a sit down talk. I was just like, I really like in tune with how loud he spoke and like everything he said, it made me want to listen to. It was just one thing that just like really stuck with me that I really didn't get with um, many other coaches I was stuck to. And obviously you uh, are getting a lot of playing time this first year here, although it's kind of a, I don't want to use the term three-headed monster, but it's a three-headed rotation between you and uh, Kyle Thomas and Jermaine Hamlin, but you're each getting about 15 minutes a game. Coming off the bench, you started some, but quite a few of you come off the bench. How tough is that to come in cold when everybody else is already warmed up? I really want to say um, well, for me personally, I'm not coming in cold. I think the only hard part for me is just kind of finding, like, how the game's going, just, like, coming in, like, kind of getting in tune with, like, how everybody's moving, the pace and everything, and just kind of getting my motor going, in, like, in that sense. And you've been one of the best shot blockers on the team. Has that always been a uh, forte of your, your game? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've always been taught I definitely have a knack for shot blocking. Um, I know last year in Juco, I placed really well. I know I was like top three in the country for the longest. So that's one thing I'm glad I was able to take with me to this level. Rebounding also. You're one of the uh, rebounding leaders on the team, which has obviously been a, another very important part of the team because that was one of the concerns that Coach Simmons has had is everybody being more physical on the glass. I oh, must yeah, definitely, again, just... Getting hard, being hard nosed, sticking my head in there, being physical, especially with those much bigger guys. <laughs> What's your pregame routine? Talking about meal, relaxation. What do you do on the game day to get ready? Um, well, like the biggest two things I always keep constant are I talk to my mom and I talk to my grandfather right before the game. They give me a little pregame speech, just talk about the day before, and then just really just kind of listen to music right before we get started. Pre-game meal, is there anything that you really, uh, any superstitions that you have at all? <laughs> Not for the meal. Yeah. When did you first become interested in basketball? How old were you, if you remember? I couldn't tell you an exact age, but I, know I was probably like really young, like about a three, four range when I probably first stepped on the court. Who influenced you the most in your early career that helped get you interested in it? Um, I'd say my biggest influence is my grandfather. He's been coaching basketball longer than I've been alive. And that's kind of the person I've always gone to when I need help or just help me get better. Yeah. Was he a coach in school or just a uh, youth coach? Oh, I'm just a youth coach. Yeah. Any specific game that you remember in your career so far, either high school, junior college, or even here, one that really sticks out? Um, if it's not winning the state championship my senior year, then it would have to be leading up to it. It was in districts. My great grandmother actually came to a game. She's about 90 now. I'm still living, thank God. But that was like, the, I think the only game she actually made it to while I was in high school. I don't think she made any middle school games. So I want to say it's the only game she's been to so far. But I know I had a really good game then. I had one of the best posters of my career <laughs> that game as well. So it's definitely exciting. We need to get her up here for every game from here on then, right? <laughs> yeah. Favorite basketball players or anybody that's been a role model for you? Um, growing up, I definitely always liked Russell Westbrook. Just his energy, the way he attacks the rim and the emotion he shows on the court. Like especially coming up through high school as I started to grow, I definitely tried to mimic that energy. And let's get away from basketball a moment. 
an academic major. Have you made a decision on uh, what you want to major in here at Eastern? Yeah, I'm actually studying um, computer and information technology. And what would you like to do with that? Um, <laughs> right now I'm learning the coding process and like building websites and web design like that. So I, that's a really interesting look, um, part of it. How did you get interested in that? And I know everybody enjoys computers, but what uh, what was the focus that uh, led you to major in that? Um, I mean, yeah, like you said, everybody's interested in computers, but um, even in middle school, I used to take little coding classes, little small programming classes, just kind of understanding how that works, like things like game development, things like that. It always seemed very interesting, so I thought I'd try to pursue a career in something like that because I definitely um, find that interesting. Yeah. Let's call this the two-minute drill. Let's find out a little bit about Nick Ellington away from basketball. What uh, What are your hobbies or your interests? Um, I haven't been gaming as much, but <laughs> I would call myself a gamer. I watch a lot of anime. Um, outside of that, probably just laying down, like just relaxing. Biggest guy, probably I'm just relaxing, not doing anything, not talking to anyone, just kind of laying there, just enjoying it. So do you binge watch anything on TV or any streaming uh, device? Um, I would say binge watching, but right now I'm in between a few animes like One Piece, um, Attack on Titan, things are on like that. How about a favorite movie? Is there any movie that you could just watch over and over and over? Uh, easy. Friday. Or like any of the Friday series. Friday after next. <laughs> any of those. Yeah. How about a favorite entertainer? Um, Favorite entertainer? I have to go with Kodak. Just like his mood, he's a really chill guy, but like every time you see him on camera, he just always has this like happy like vibe to him. He's just kind of like doing a little dance thing. And I kind of find myself doing the same thing. Sometimes he's just kind of standing in one place. He's just kind of vibing, and dancing, and a little swaying back and forth, something like that. So I kind of, I kind of relate to him in that way. So are you the best dancer on the team, Nick? Nah, I don't dance. I'm too. I'm too tall, it looks awkward when I dance. But. <laughs> How about a favorite sports team on, on any any sport? Um, always been a Lakers fan. The whole family's a Lakers fan, so I'm definitely a part of that. And a favorite sport besides basketball? What do you follow? Um, I don't really follow it as much, but my favorite sport is basketball. I played soccer a lot growing up, too. I was a goalie for the most part of my life. I don't think I played anything other than goalie when I played soccer. Did you play that in high school? No, I didn't. No. They, would, they wouldn't let me because the guy was out of conditioning. <laughs> I see. You know, St. Louis is a great soccer community, so that's why I thought maybe you played it in, in school some way. So was this a youth youth leagues that you were in or just pickup games when you talk about soccer? I was in youth leagues. I played all the way um, up until I even played a little bit in middle school. But in high school, again, definitely wouldn't let us play soccer because we – train that whole time leading up to it. If we play soccer, then we got to find the condition. <laughs> How about one sporting event you could t attend in person? Um, if it couldn't be a Lakers game, then definitely I'd love to see the Super Bowl. So I'm tickets going for about 5000 I seen. Yeah, I did too. So do you have a favorite there, Eagles or uh, the Chiefs? Definitely going with the Chiefs. Being from Missouri, yeah. right? <laughs> what else? Yeah. Here's the toughest question I ask everybody. If you could have dinner with any two or three people, either living or not living, who would it be? Um, well, it would probably be my dad. I lost him at a young age, so I always think about, like, just wish I could pick his brain, kind of see, talk to him a little bit more, kind of get some information on that. Just, you know what I'm saying? Have to communicate, like, have a talk with him. Just learn something. Especially now, at an older age, I could probably understand things a little better. Understand that for certain. Last question: Where would you like to be in five years? Either living in some whatever location, or in a professional career. What would you like to be doing? Five years? Well, that's not too far down the line. No, it isn't. <laughs> um, I always really like the South, especially when from my time in Meridian. So probably living somewhere in like Houston or Mississippi or Atlanta or Florida, but definitely probably um deep in my career somewhere down there, hopefully. In an ideal job? Video game development. <laughs> Good luck in that. Good luck the rest of this season. we got a lot of games left, and I know you guys are...
making a push for the uh, postseason tournament. Oh, yeah, we definitely going to get there. All right. Thanks much, Nick.